a few days ago I published this schematic and I was very very surprised that uh, so many YouTubers liked the video and have watched the video anyway. Um, it is a um, high frequency oscillator, VHF oscillator and I want to uh, show one application from this circuit and I want to refer to the link in the description for more info. Here is that circuit again and now I have connected here the so-called Legger line. In fact this here, this line, it's closed here at the end. This is a coil and of course um, when we shortcut a part of that coil, I've done that here with two crocodile clips soldered together via a wire, the, the coil gets shorter and the frequency goes up substantially. And I found out for instance here with this setup, this wire, say it is 40 centimeters or so, I can go from 60 megahertz to 100 10 megahertz or so. And at the moment you see that it is shortcut here. So very close to the oscillator itself. It means that we have here a very short coil here. But when I open it, say uh, take the crocodiles away, have to put down the camera for a while because they are very fierce. So when the crocodile clips are away, I now have the complete inductance of the say Legger line. Anyway, let me demo it again. At first, like it is now, with this wire here, 40 centimeters approximately. And let's look on the scope what this all can bring. This very, very simple circuit, by the way. So here we have a fierce oscillation. Well, anyway, fierce sine wave, 58 megahertz. That's the complete line, say 40 centimeters approximately. And now I'm going to connect a shortcut, and I'm doing that shortcut directly on, say, a very uh, location very close to the oscillator. Let's see what happens. Of course the frequency must go up now. That's logical regarding the radio theory. And surely it goes up. You can see here and read that it is now 111.3 MHz. The amplitude is somewhat smaller, but when you say turn that bias potentiometer here, you can say give it a somewhat better uh, result. Anyway, does not want to go. Um, the amplitude does not want to go up. But anyway, that's also in a certain way logical. Here we are on. 110 megahertz. So yes, megahertz. So when you make this whole unit in a say serious way, more serious than I have done it, say with these lines completely good stretched out, uh, two good quality crocodile clips, you have a test oscillator uh, with which you can go from in this case here. Uh, with this with this length of the coil, you can go from say 60 megahertz to 110 and perhaps even higher. I will try it. Now the crocodiles are very close to the oscillator, and we are on 117 megahertz. Anyway, I think you can even build. Uh, when, you, 
when you want to do this in a serious way uh, a quite reliable test oscillator for this frequency band. And I've tested it today further, this uh, circuit, this circuit, and with a good uh, quality coil or with a, with a coil with more windings, you can even go to 2.7 megahertz. And I've done that test with this coil. This coil. Forget the trimmer here, it makes no sense. This coil you can get with a ferrite rod in it. With this circuit to 2.5 megahertz. Thanks for watching. For say serious radio amateurs, I think this is a useful experimental circuit. Let's stop the ventilator. I don't like that ventilator anyway. Thanks for watching.